Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. In today's video, I will be doing a tutorial on how to spin super coil yarn using a thick single. Um, I will be also auto wrapping the thick single in a beautiful dark turquoise in silk art embroidery thread. I've gone with this one because it is the same colour as pops of turquoise in these mini bats. And these mini bats are what I made um, a couple weeks ago, which I will show you now.
this my it's very fine but you can just see it this is my auto wrap so you just put it down the center and what you want to do is fasten it in before you use, use up too much so you want to fasten it in first so get it in there and wrap the yarn oh, the fiber around it so it doesn't fall out I don't know if this thread is going to be too thin okay so now you grab your auto wrap and you put it above your fingers and you want this lead to head to the orifice and stay down there So you lift your hand and let it run down there. If you lower your hand, the auto wrap will head to your fingers and you don't want that. If I want to have chunky sections for the super coil, you just add in some thick bits. Or you can just spin an entire thick thick yarn. I'm losing all this sari silk and tensile, so I'm going to put it back in. I don't know how those um, cotton nets will stay on this because <laughs> they're just sitting there on the top. And I've never spun with them before so this is a learning curve. Now, I'm not a big fan putting them into my drum carter either because they're very hard to get out of it I seriously think that these naps will fall out in the wash when I finish the yarn so you just continue until you get to the end of it um, I've still got about six um, mini bats to go. I'm going to stop it at this. I will start up 
again um, when I'm ready to super coil. All right, I am now ready to take this off and get it prepped for making super coils. But it's turned out pretty cool um, as a single. It's actually a lot brighter than this, a lot more purple, a lot more pink and turquoise. But these um, little <laughs> naps look pretty cool also. So you put it on the Z um, and you turn down your speed and then you ball it up around your hand and when you're done you're ready to super coil. Um, if you have bought one with a second bobbin then you just take your bobbin off the wheel, replace it with the one that's got nothing on it, and you can just go from there. Um, start super coiling off the first bobbin. But because I don't have a second bobbin, I need to wind it onto my hand into a ball, put it into my basket, and then continue. So I've only got 20 minutes left on the timer. So I will try and get as much as I can done for you. So you can still see me make the super coil. So you only want to, the speed to be as fast as you can um, twine it around your hand. Otherwise, you'll lose it and I'll start nodding up. So I do a few wraps around my hand first and then wrap it around the center. Then, now that I've got the thickness, I will turn it so it's on its. So here's the thing, and I will go here and then continue to turn the ball around in circles as I wrap it. Using my thumb as a center point okay see how here is where my auto wrap begins I'm going to cut it there I'm going to tie a knot. All right, now we've got a little ball. So I'm going to find something I can super coil onto. I want something that is thick enough. So I'm going to go with um
probably a four ply merino. So now I want to spin it the opposite direction. The hard part is getting this to the coil on itself. So I'm going to turn this up a bit. And you feed it on if you want it to be very tight you use your thumb and you push it up push them up so it's tight coils This is turning out so pretty. I love it. It's going to be something special when it's made up into something. Oh, I love making this type of things. This type of yarns. Freestyle. True freestyle type of spinning this type so relaxing I'm getting to the end of it If you enjoy watching me make this type of yarn um, please like this uh, video um, subscribe to my channel if you have not and comment down below if you'd like to see more um, every like and comment really does help it helps my channel be seen to more people um, I seriously need the help as because of the name that I have chosen it doesn't have anything to do with fibre or yarn or doesn't show up in the searches um, when I first started out which was in 2013 um, I didn't know any better and so I chose my name Joe's Paradise of Colour um, and I sort of stuffed myself because I probably would have been a little bit more known about um, a little bit more subscribers I think um, if I chose the right name but I've had it since I was since it was 2013 I think it's a little bit too late to change my my spinning name unfortunately um, so yes any help would be appreciated likes thumbs ups uh, Whatever. anyway so um, this end bit is very difficult because it's unraveled so I'm going to pull it apart here and end it like so 
um, and try and get a coil going on at the end here. So you just twist the ends, make it tight again. Okay, to fasten a super coil, I leave about that much in the end. I use my um, plying thread. I put it to the side. I start it up. I make it go around it a couple times at the bottom. Then I run it down around the bottom a little bit more. Back up. back down that didn't quite work out how i normally do it i cut it at the base here and i tie at the bottom like so now because i fastened this section here the super coils which is not very super coil at the at the bottom here at the moment but if i let it go They all plump up and they don't come out they plump up they don't come out and I don't lose it so that's my uh, my own technique to fastening a super coil you can use it if you like it's the best one I've come up with um, to stop losing the coil and I do the same on the other end so I'm going to skein this up because I oh, I don't have time to skein it up on the video but I will skein them up and then I will take pictures and I'll add them to the end Thank you for watching and bye for now.